No wonder people had stared. I spent hours on this. Don't dismiss it without doing me the courtesy of an opinion. He was aggressive now, snatching up the square package that lay on the seat beside him. May considered getting off at the next stop, but why should she? It was just before rush hour. The next train would be packed and she wouldn't get a seat. His fingers were pulling at the brown paper, ripping it off in long strips. The base of his thumbnail was encrusted with dried blood. The thumb had been bitten raw. Like Mark's knuckles, there had been blood on the bonnet. The three police cars were parked haphazardly, their doors open and radios blaring, the messages faint above the crackling. They had made her and Mark wait with the cars at the top of the hill. Lights from the men's torches bobbed and flickered down the grassy slope to Shelley Beach as May rested her hands on the bonnet of the car they had come in, a solid surface. She come here much, May? The policeman wasn't talking to her. Since Mark had arrived, they had stopped asking her questions, even though Mark never knew the answers. She was too British amongst these big Australians and a woman.